I refuse to take an L on these. I simply, I simply refuse, man. I had to have them. Yes, sir. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Mike Rich, man. What's happening with y'all today? Today. Today, I did something that I usually don't do, and I paid resale for a sneaker. I paid resale. I usually don't do it, but I told y'all on the last video, man, I'm finna start, I'm finna start, like, not letting these websites, like, Sneaker Zap and Foot Lock or whoever, I'm not finna let them take my joy by selling out these sneakers. I know the bots hitting them up, and I know I'm kind of doing, in this way, I'm contributing to the problem, which is reselling. A lot of the bots, a lot of resellers have the bots, a lot of the bots get all the pairs, and then they resell the shoes, but I don't see how they're making that much money unless they got multiple pairs, like a lot of pairs, because resale is going, been going down, like dwindling. So, um, before I, I'm not even going to say the name of the shoe, I'm going to pop it open. I would do reviewing on feet type thing, but I don't have time today. I got a lot of running around to do, a lot of errands to run, so I just want to show y'all the shoe real quick while, I, while I'm unboxing it, and then... You know, next time we'll get the reviewing on feet or just the on feet by itself. How about I choose to do it? Um, shout out to my guy, uh, Ryan Simple. Uh, shout out to you, bro, formerly of the Sneak This Podcast. He hit me up and told me about the trusted seller that he got his pair from on eBay. I looked at dude's credentials, man. He got like over 6,000, 7,000 sales and 100% satisfaction rate, not one negative review, he's legit. All his pairs are on point. Unfortunately, he sold out of this pair shortly after I was able to purchase mine, so I'm glad I went ahead and jumped on it. I thought about it for a while, and what I always do, especially when it comes to pay resale price, I think too hard on it, man. I, I just I just be like, I think myself out of copping the shoe. This time I said, I'm tired of taking L's. I know I wanted the sneaker. They sold out on sneakers out. So go ahead and get them. So without further ado, I've been talking too much already. I'm about to do it old school and open this box, this package with these monstrous hands. <laughs> That's so silly. I don't know why I do that. In a way, let's go ahead and get into the job. That is stupid, man. Y'all seem to like it, though. Y'all seem to like it, man. Ah. Get off of there. There we go. There we go, man. Ooh. Some orange action going on. If anybody saw my last video, you probably know what these are, man. I said I was I was in the process of making a play, making a play on these. And actually, Alex, I had already made the play. I had already heard the bottom them and everything. I said, I'm about to make a play on these, but they was already bought at that point when I said that. <sighs> I don't want to take no more L's, man. If I want a sneaker, bro. I've been on YouTube too damn long to be taking these L's and saying, well, I took an L. I know I still got to take some L's, and I'm going I'm, I'm to stay a man of the people, and I'm going to take some L's and stride, and I'm going to be like, bro. I had to have them, but you know what? Maybe I can get them later. But this pair right here, I was like, you know what? I want the shoe. When I struck out on sneakers out, as soon as I struck out on sneakers out, I was like, bruh, I'm still going to get them. I'm, a, I'm still going to get them. Oh, by the way, before I open the box, y'all already know what it is. Anyway, Bio Beige, Air Jordan, uh, uh, Just Timberlake things. Before I open the box, I'm going to tell y'all real quick. Thank you to everybody who purchased um, the sneakers. On the last video, I showed y'all a lot of shoes I wanted to end up uh, selling. Or well, actually, I wasn't even trying to sell them that quick, but y'all jumped. In my DMs so quick on Instagram. Y'all jumped to my email so fast. So let me go ahead and give you a rundown of what's already gone because a lot of people are still asking. The Jordan 1 Royal is gone. The uh, two Jordan uh, 11 Lows, the Snake Skin and the Concords, one person brought, bought both of those, so he had to have them. They gone. Shout out to you, bro. And what else is gone? Um, I sold everything except for the gold shoes, the gold sixes, the pinnacle. So they still they still for sale. I got empty spots in my racks uh back there. I know I'm taking too long to show the shoe. But I'm trying to own oh, the Columbia's gone too. The uh, Jordan 11 Legend Blues. All of those are gone, man. So anyway, let's get into these guys right here. Thank y'all for buying them shoes. I'm probably going to sell most sneakers. I got most shoes, and I'm like, bro, I ain't got to have these like that. So y'all might, I'm not going to sell like half of my collection or nothing like that, but a few pair here and there to downsize so I can get cops like this. It'll probably happen. Uh, retail for the price of $250. I paid a little bit over that. When I say a little bit over that, I 
plus tax, these would have been what? $275, $280, add $30, $35 on to that, and that's what I paid. Y'all do the math. So we got that, um, I don't know that much about Justin Timberlake. Not a big fan. I just love the shoes. I like some of Justin Timberlake old songs, but I'm like, just, I didn't buy this shoe because of Justin Timberlake. I bought it because it's a dope Jordan 3, man. Um, man of the Woods. I, I, Generation of Hypebeast. My guy, Generation of Hypebeast, shout out to you because he tried to get me a pair of these. He wasn't able to come through, but he said this is the Man of the Woods symbol, whatever that is. Um, and it's on the other paper, too. I think there's another paper in here or something that got it on there. Oh, no, that was it. it was, I thought it was somewhere else on here. Oh, it's on the box, right? Uh, Man of the Woods logo, so. Man, it feels good when you don't let the L's define you, man. I got these guys. G JTH Limited Boys, man. <laughs> I got them, bro. Sometimes you gotta spin that cake, man. Sometimes it ain't even gotta spend too much. Like, bro, I can imagine weekends where I spill like spend like eight hundred dollars, man. I spent what three twenty, three fifteen, something like that for these. And <laughs> I got something I really wanted, bro. Sometimes you just gotta put aside all the whole bunch of purchases that you make, and you gotta get what you really want, man. I know I'm talking stupid sideways. I'm excited I got the shoe. Hey, get both shoes, they different. Yeah. Yeah. Bow. The Air Jordan Three, JTH Bio Beige guys, man. Um, these are dope. Both shoes are different. Which I saw a couple of reviews. Shout out to uh, Unbreakable Kicks and who else? Somebody else showed these shoes. I can't think of it right now. I love the fact, and I thought that this somebody, add, when I saw the earlier images and somebody had these orange laces in, I thought they just added the laces on. I didn't know they actually came with the shoe. Them dress shoe laces is coming out of them, guy. Dress shoe laces coming out. The bio beige laces, though, but I, I got to go with the orange because it's going to make them pop. You got that Nike Air on that ass. You got that Nike Air on that booty, man. Booty. Booty. Booty! I heard, it was a lot of people that were saying deals was dope. A lot of people agreed with me saying that shoe is dope. Dope, must cop, must got it. I had to gotta have them and all that. There was a couple people saying that they were trash. Yeah, but it's, it's gonna be always be somebody saying each shoe is trash. I don't care. Where you go, everybody ain't gonna like the same thing. And that's completely alright with me. I like the fact, I love the Tinker alternates or whatever threes, but I also love the fact that this this uh, swoosh is hidden right here. Like, if you just walking around them all, you can barely see it. And from what I heard, it was like 3M or something. Yeah, it's 3M. It says higher on that side right there. No idea. I think that's got something to do with Justin Timberlake's tour. Got the black on black uh, elephant print. Like I said, Nike Air on that ass. Orange on the inside. I love when they do these neutral colors. It's really a fall shoe. So, you know what I'm saying? This midsole is not white. None of the shoe is white. It's, midsole is kind of like a cream color um it says fame is a lie on the inside of that one with some woods in the background and it says stress is cruel on the inside of that one with some with the woods on fire or something like that but man they just dope i really really dig this shoe this is a size 12 got the uh tinker alternate tag right there like I said, I really wanted to kick suede. <laughs> the suede, is, these are premium, bro. The suede is is very nice quality on the outside of the shoe. See if we can get a closer look on that suede, man. It's just, there's some good suede, some good quality on them guys. I love. I didn't realize that the like the little lace holes right here. Yeah, I'm sure y'all will correct me. Aglets, eyelets, whatever, eyelets. Uh, I'm. I didn't realize that those was like that bright kind of like volt colorway, or yellow or whatever color that is. Um, just a dope shoe, man. That tongue got that premium Vachetta tan type uh, leather going on. Really good, nice, nice grade of leather. This is just, I, I mean, I see why it's an NRG. I see why it's a, um, I see why the price is two fifty. Like I said, it is what it is. They sold out. I'm not, but I'm thinking there was more pairs available than I originally thought, just for the simple fact that. A lot of people hit me up saying they got pairs. Like, Rich, I got them. I mean, after I bought them already, I was like, oh, I already got them, bro. And then, like, a lot of people overseas said they were sitting on their uh, sneakers app and their websites and stuff and their stores for a while after the release. Um, so, anyway, I'm just glad I got them. The, the, the material on the inside is almost 
sticky. It's like a the inside of a, a wool coat or something. I don't know how to explain that, man. But all the materials on this shoe is dope, premium. I'm gonna break these things out for the fall time, man. I'm definitely gonna wear this shoe. It's not for sale. I paid resale for it, so I'm not. I'm definitely not gonna sell the shoe. The bottom has a translucent gray, smoke gray kind of translucent bottom with them orange hits and stuff like that, man. Like I said, I love. I mean, I love the fact that both shoes are different, man. Even though you don't see that stuff, it's just small details, especially when you spend uh, over what you planned on spending, like over retail for a shoe like this. You, you you appreciate all the little small stuff that they got going on with the kicks. So that's it. It's gonna be some more um, shoes for sale coming up. I want them acronym Prestos. Speaking of that, they did a uh, Nike sneakers app. Y'all some sneakies. Y'all are some sneakies, man. <laughs> yes, I want to call you something else. But y'all brought them um, acronym Prestos out on a surprise drop, and it says goes behind to goes behind the design, and you click on that and you scratch out the picture or whatever, and they give you the early release. I ain't know nothing about it. I saw them pop up on sneakers app, but I just thought they came up on sneakers app because they're releasing so I ain't know it was gonna be a, a early or uh, surprise drop. So anyway, comment below and tell me what y'all think about these JTH Bio Beige Air Jordan Three things. I'm glad I was able to cop, even though I paid resale. It was still a blessing, man. Did I, did I hope everybody is having a blessed day? I didn't even do it. I hope everybody, each and every one of y'all, is having a blessed day today, man. Can't forget to say that, man. I was a little too excited about the shoes. But anyway, I appreciate y'all for watching this video. I got some, I, I got a couple of sneakers that I can't wear. They were too big or they're a little bit too small that's coming up for sale. And y'all going to be real surprised at what the shoe is. I was trying to hold on to them just because of what the shoe is, but they're not comfortable. I never wear them because they're uncomfortable on my feet. So y'all stay tuned for that on the next video. Yeah, that'll be on the next video. Anyway, I appreciate y'all for watching this. Y'all hit the thumbs up, like, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so you can become a part of Rich Nation staying all the way up there. Don't forget to the moon. Don't forget to uh, subscribe to my movie channel. Me and my wife been slacking a little bit on the videos. We got a couple of new things up there. Black Klansman, we reviewed that movie. And we got the power. We're going to kind of just do one more power, I think, just for the rest of the season and stuff, because we couldn't keep up with each episode. Plus, there wasn't enough stuff going on in each episode to keep reviewing those episodes. So, y'all subscribe to Movie Heads, too. Movie Heads with a Z. Um, it, the link is below in the description as well. I think that's it. Y'all keep watching my video, because that's what I'm here for. Gone.